Hey YouTube, uh, during the little cup, I was just so sick of seeing bronzer. I'm like, I'm just gonna go play Master League. I don't have any legendary Pokemon. And I thought, you know what? I've got three hundos that are built up, Metagross, Dragonite, Mamoswine. Let's just put them together. Uh, and it didn't actually work too badly. Uh, you're gonna see a four one set in here, but there, I got also a bunch of losses here. The problem is you're doubly to like water. Kyogre is gonna destroy Mamoswine and Metagross. Uh, Hoho is gonna destroy Mamoswine and Metagross as well. So if I was going to like, if I had a uh, Excadrill, what I would do is I would write run Dragonite on the lead, switch into Excadrill as a safe swap, try to draw out a Ho-Ho or a Kyogre, smack it with a bunch of Drill Runs or Rock Slides to try and grab a shield or at least do chip damage, punish it with Dragonite, and then Mammoth Swine Sweep in the back. So that's how I would adjust this team. Um, but overall, like... All three of these Pokemon have a lot of play in this meta, right? And there's tons of dragons, right? So Mamoswine has an ice type Pokemon plus steel with uh, ground for steel. Again, Metagross for your fairies and and, and Earthquake for, for steels. And then Dragonite for just your general dragons plus a super power for, for the steels as well. So uh, let's look at the battles here. Outcome Zacian. I'm going to stay in here and just throw... Uh, I'm just going to chip actually. Or bank it and then i gotta play it in multiple ways the problem is like an avalanche isn't gonna take it out from that range so there's no real point of throwing it i should have one close combat because i figured they are gonna get to it um i do get this move off before they get the next one off which is okay because i know the ground is gonna come back in and i know it's gonna it looks like it's running um mud shot so i'm grassing the suppressed blade but i will get to a move here which is great i do have an avalanche banked which is also great. Uh, so grab one shield, that's fine. Uh, I'll just let this go. Because again, I have uh, an avalanche ban uh, banked. Really, I'm not letting it go. Oh, because I, I, I'm i I'm seeing a ABB fairy line. Yeah, I remember. Because I'm like, you know what? There's a, a Zacian lead, draw out a Metagross, punish it here, and then your other fairy can roam free. So I'm expecting a fairy in the back. So I have I a move banked. So it is just Dialga. So that's a, not an amazing lead, but a read. But this is still really good because now I can superpower here. Does not KO, which is okay, but pretty close to farming down. So they have to throw. And now I can farm down with my Metagross with Bullet Punch and come out with a Meteor Bash for the Gar uh, Groudon. So these three non-legendary Pokemons just took out a Groudon, Zacian, Dialga <laughs> team, right? So we take those. Dialga on the lead. Uh, this is not bad. So I used to play this matchup all the time in level 40. And you can just bait Avalanche and just go hit, hit them for three Avalanches in level 40. I don't know if it's the same as level 50, but I'm essentially going to do that same concept. I'm going to bait the high horsepower. Uh, get to it for the second time and throw it again. Throw the avalanche again so I can maybe get to the three. They snipe with a Kyogre or come with a Kyogre, so that's a good catch. But now this is sort of where Dragonite is. Well, that's, this is why Dragonite's on the team, right? You need a hard answer to Kyogre and Ho Ho. Um, I throw here. I don't need to. I could just like farm up and come out with a bunch of energy. Uh, I thought maybe I could take it out before they get to like a thunder or something, but they ended up getting into the thunder, which is a little unfortunate, but that's okay. Because uh, I still will have a move coming out of this, essentially. A couple farm, a little bit of farm, and uh, throw the suit power. Uh, but they come in with the Lugia, so that is fine. Because I also have Metagross left in the back for Lugia, right? Uh, and it's a shadow version, so this is okay. Dragon Tail is resisted. The problem is, I really don't want to take an Arrow Blast from Alugia. So I tried to like catch it, and I didn't catch it, but I got to a move, which is almost better. <laughs> so now, at this point, I'm like, you know what? This is probably an Arrow Blast. I really don't want to take an Arrow Blast. So I shield it. They end up baiting. So I'm like, okay, I know I can get, I let's just get this out of here. They baited. I really don't want to take that necessarily. Uh, and I know they have, only have the Dialga left. So even if they hit me with a, with a uh, Draco here, I don't think it's going to take me out, right? Steel resist it, and the Running Thunder, which is interesting, but get it off. And again, we just took out 
another legendary team. Uh, Shadow Mewtwo. This is the second time I saw this. I saw this matchup a few times. Wow, Shadow Mewtwo is, <laughs> is really, really hard-hitting Pokemon. Uh, so I knew that Avalanche would take it out, but I just get outpaced here, unfortunately, in a... Um, oh, so I, I, this was the one I caught, right? I knew, I knew it was coming. I knew it was going to get outpaced. So... I caught it there. In the other, I've, I saw it on the lead once before, and I, sh I shielded up a side strike, and then got another avalanche off, and they shielded, and then they got a one off and took me out. So it's a losing matchup, which is too bad. But smart heads up play there that they they didn't get taken out, which I was surprised by, but able to catch that. They dealt their energy. The problem is here now. Dialga is just so, so tough in this meta, which again, I still don't have a Hundo or the XL Gandhis for that matter, but um, going to come in here because I think I can just go double Avalanche is what I'm thinking about doing here. Um, unfortunately, they got their own Mammoth Swine and one is not going to take it out. And I think they get to the move before me or we CMP, even though I'm a Hundo too, so that's unfortunate and then this game's over. Uh, so that is unfortunate i so again man was fine taking the taking it here uh metagross doing a thing so i think there is play and i'm probably gonna do a video with the best non-legendary pokemon to use yeah because i've got i don't know when this is gonna go up i might just put this today i think i'm gonna put this this afternoon because I've already got other videos banked for the weekend. So uh, this is going to go up Tuesday afternoon. We have a league turnover tomorrow, but the league is Master League and Great League Spring Cup. So this weekend, you're going to see um, best non-XL, non-legendary Great League Pokemon, best non-XL, non-legendary Ultra League Pokemon, and I want to do a best non-legendary Master League Pokemon. So stay tuned for that Saturday, Sunday, Monday, as that is the Easter long weekend here. So I am, will be gone. So I'm just gonna bank some some videos for you guys to do. And you guys seem to like those those ones. I, I've timestamped them this time around, so it's a lot easier. Uh, but yeah, these three, I think there's only really like 10 Master League uh, Pokemon Okay, so here's the thing. I think there's probably only like six or seven Master League Pokemon off the top of my head that I would feel comfortable with using in Open Great League here. In Open, yeah, Open Master League, sorry. The three on the screen, uh, Excadrill, Gyarados, Florgas, I don't like Togekiss. I'd rather just use Florgas, quite honestly. Um, what am I missing? I don't love, um, I don't love, what is it here? Uh, what's his name? We're going pretty low here. There is not a lot. Snorlax, I think is pretty good too. Garchomp. Garchomp and Ursaluna. There you go. So Garchomp, I think, yes. Ursaluna, I really don't like. I think it's overrated, even though it's rank 40. So there's only like seven or eight Pokemon that I feel comfortable with using in Open Master League that are non-legendary. But the thing is, there's probably a couple more in the Premier League that I'd be comfortable using. And that's where you get into your, like, Togekiss, Swamperts, um, some of your Fighters like uh Conkledor. like i think those have a lot more play in the premier league we just really don't have play in master league so what i'll do in the video is i'll cover those pokemon that i think will have play in the open master and that will also dominate and then i'll add like a couple more for premier so stay tuned for those saturday sunday monday um i also did film my buddy submitted a master league team with genesect which was really fun so i got that filmed already so I don't, I, that's supposed to go up Monday right now, but maybe Monday afternoon and we'll do the one Monday morning. And then I'll be back Monday night and I'll showcase some more Spring Cup teams. That is the plan. But 
again, like again, I'll go more in detail about this in the open league, but like Mammoth Swine will do well against Groudon. It'll do well against uh, Straight Dragons. Even against Dialga, it's got a pretty good matchup. Dragonite is one of the top ranked because like mirror match dragon is pretty good. You you do well against Groudon here because you all all I mean fire punch goes through, but you you resist the uh, ground type moves here. Um, plus you have the superpower for some steals, which do okay. Metagross, um, Metagross, I'm missing your steel typing. Metagross as a great answer to fairies. And even in this like matchup here, right? Uh, Dragon Tail is resisted. I, Aeroblast will be resisted, but again, I really. <laughs> this is why I cannot wait to build my Lugia up because I think like even though Aeroblast is resisted, Aeroblast would still freaking hurt. So I think I try and catch here. Oh, no, we CMP. Um, I don't think it'll take me out, but it's still like for a non, uh, for a move that sh is resisted, you're still doing like 50, 60 percent damage. Uh, and they have a Xerneas here. I remember this. I, I'm surprised I didn't try and catch this. So I, I, they're going to fully farm me down. I have a move banked. They have a Pokemon with like 1 HP left. I think their Metagross is going to win CMP. Maybe they didn't know I have a move banked. Because Metagross is going to win CMP. So I have to throw immediately when I come in. Or else they're going to get their move off. So I thought they would have to like try and catch, but I'm like, I have no choice. I'm going to throw. And then we ended up seeing peeing because if they came in and caught this, then I was done. This game's over. Uh, but I get this off and now I end up bullet punching down uh, and I will take this set 4-1 here. So there we go. You can in Master League get it. Again, I wouldn't run this exact team because ho oh, was a problem. Kyogre is a problem. Uh, so I would probably run Dragonite lead, Metagross, and then, no, not Metagross, uh, Extra Drill, and then Mamoswine in the back. But you can you can maneuver it up how you want. You can run, instead of running Mamoswine, you can run Dragonite, Metagross, and a third. Just depends. I, again, I don't know what you have. I don't know what. Um, either way, I think like Dragonite plus either of these two are a pretty good combo. So that is that. Um Hope you enjoy that. Stay tuned tomorrow for top spring cup teams. Uh, and then I'm going to try and shoot a couple videos Wednesday night to go up Thursday, Friday before spring cup before I am. Uh, yeah. Cause I'm leaving Thursday morning for like four days. Anyways, that's it. Appreciate you watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.